establishing a market presence is one of the biggest challenges that you may face. And promoting products on Facebook is one of the best ways to expand your market reach. If you are looking to promote your WooCommerce products on Facebook, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, this is Sadia from Product Feed Manager and today I'll show you how you can generate an accurate product feed for Facebook effortlessly. Now, to do this, you need the plugin Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll see the Product Feed option on your dashboard. See, when I hover the mouse, I'm getting these options. Now, to generate a new feed, click on Add New Feed option. It will take you to this feed creation page. Firstly, you need to set a feed title. Here, I'm naming it as Facebook Product Feed. Now, from the drop down, you need to select the margin where you want to promote your products on. Here, I'm selecting Facebook. So, once you select it, you'll see all the Record attributes will be listed below. You'll also find the attributes are already configured. What you have to do is assign any unmapped attribute with the right product data. Now for Facebook Merchant, you will see two unmapped attributes. So the first one is manufacturer or brand. Now Facebook requires you to submit either a brand name or GTN or MPN. So if you have any brand value saved in your WooCommerce store, you can simply select this option from this drop down menu. But if you are the sole manufacturer, you can select this option as static and provide your company name from here. Alright, now for the Google product category, you need to set a category mapping. You can use our category mapping feature to do this. Here you can set your WooCommerce product categories according to the Google product categories. Once you have done that, you can select the category map from this drop down. As I have already created a category map, for Facebook, I am just gonna select it right away. Now before publishing the feed, let me show you the settings and feed filters. If you go to the settings, you will see the options are already configured but you can always change them if you need to. If you go to the product filter option, you will see this filter option. These are category filter, tag filter, product filter, you can find feed rules. You can use these filters to include any products or exclude any products from your feed. Right now, let's leave them as it is. I'll make a separate video explaining those filters. Now that you are done with the settings and filters, it's time to publish your feed. For that, click on the publish button and your feed will start generating. Now, the feed generation duration depends on how much products you have on your site. So once the loading is completed, your feed is ready. You can now view the feed, copy the feed link and download the feed. Let's have a look at it. Now the next step is to submit the feed to your Facebook Commerce Manager. When you do that, your products will be listed there and you can start promoting on Facebook. So that's it for today. See you in the next video.